Residents in media-related fields gathered at the DeGroote School of Business yesterday for an important panel discussion. So we're here at the beautiful Ron Joyce Center in Burlington. Our event is called New Media, New Business. And we have an expert panel that's going to be talking about the, the changes that have happened in the media and communication space as a result of digital transformation and how businesses can change their practices to do better with media relations and communications as a result. New Media, New Business is a part of a series DeGroote will be hosting throughout October and November. We're really excited to have an exceptional panel. We have Diane Buckner here, who's coming from Toronto. You may recognize her as the host of the Dragon's Den. We have David Estock, he's a VP of Communications with the University of Toronto. Paul Burton, he's the Editor-in-Chief of the Hamilton Spectator. And Dave Scholes, who is a managing partner with Leger. One of the topics discussed was how prominent social media actually is. So I work for Leger, uh, I do have market research, and we have done a study that looked at sort of Canadians' usage of social media. We call it the social media reality check because there's a general sense among people that will be here tonight that everyone is on social media. In reality, it's a, it's a little bit less than everyone. So we'll talk about that and why people aren't and why people are and what they trust and what they're using and, and how to really, if you have a message, what part of social media and how to use social media to get that message to them. CBC's Diane Buckner acted as moderator for the panelist discussion and weighed in on how social media and online presence is changing the way businesses are perceived. My first question is going to the editor of the Hamilton Spectator because as we know newspapers uh, have been dramatically impacted, not necessarily in a good way, by uh, the rise of social media and online properties. Uh, so how is he handling this? What kind of a challenge does social media present for his business? On the other hand, we're curious to know, for example, U of T, how are they communicating? How do you get your message out to your audience nowadays when there are so many different channels that you can use? What's his approach? And I know, for example, McMaster hardly ever sends uh, press releases anymore. It has its own publishing and own uh, you know, media empire, basically, to try and connect directly to the audience. So there's a lot of different things happening. A lot of big challenges with social media, too. I don't know whether you saw one of the restaurants in Toronto got on, in a lot of trouble for a tweet recently, and that's not a new thing. Companies are constantly making terrible mistakes and uh, fails, of course, as they call them nowadays, uh, with social media. There's a lot to be thinking about. The next DeGroote event in this series will be on November 4th. The event will be discussing how to be a successful entrepreneur. Visit degroot.mcmaster.ca for details. Reporting for Halton Insider, I'm Shane Lansing.